Hello Aquarius, welcome back. We are going to be doing your he said, she said game and see what is going on in your relationship partners. What is going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising? If this resonates, make sure to drop a like and follow the extended reading on the website. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much. Let's see Aquarius, what is going on? What do you need to hear? What is the situation for you, your feelings, your blockage, your intentions, and the outcome? All right, starting off with the Nine of Wands, being a little bit uh, on defense here, not really trusting this person quite yet. Queen of Cups, yeah, protecting your feelings, protecting your emotions. You have so much love and... You may feel like this person could take advantage of it. You're trying to be a little bit preserved when it comes to your emotions and feelings. Um, I see that there is a lot of deep love. There is a lot of feelings here. There is a lot of uh, emotions going up and down and you're trying to find a common ground or a common sense here to keep yourself grounded, okay? Um, to not go overboard, right? Like to not go emotionally overboard or obviously there is always a fear of loving someone because you don't know if this is going to be everlasting right so you might be a little bit protective of your heart space which is okay however with the seven of swords um, it may show you it may show your or you may choose to show your shadow size maybe you want to test this person right like i'm just getting super <laughs> a lot of downloads right now so Please don't mind me, but I'm getting that like maybe you're you're showing your shadow side by trying to keep them a little bit on arm's length, a little bit uh, on a distance. And with this, you're not really showing how you truly feel. So it's not that you're lying to yourself. I feel like you already know how you feel. But when it comes to the other person, you may show a side of you that... Um, is out of protecting yourself, but may not be quite clear or honest to the other person where this is going we've got the six of swords the page of cups and the king of cups okay now we have the king and the queen of cups very fast in the in the reading already i like this i really like this uh, the blockage is the six of cups and the knight of swords and the king of swords in your intentions, we have the death card. We've got the strength card. And the eight of swords. The outcome is the page of wands, the six of pentacles, and the three of wands. Bottom of the deck is the eight of cups and the four of cups, but the five of cups, five of pentacles. All right. So. What I see here is that there are some disappointments. There are some things that you feel um, unsettled about. However, you have a hard time to communicate that. Or um, you may have been closing yourself off. You may have felt like, okay, I need to deal with this on my own. I'm going through some hardships and I need to go through this feelings of emotions um, first before I actually communicate them all right so you're you're trying to protect yourself uh, you're trying to kind of like see things from a more distant perspective uh, that's why you're kind of like taking a step back six of sources most likely telling me that you're um, trying to remove yourself from any attachment so you can have like an objective point of view of this connection right and I feel like once you take that step back right uh, you're starting to feel that you still love this person that you still have a lot of emotions that this person uh, still rules your heart and on is on your mind it doesn't matter where you are in the world it doesn't matter how far you run away it doesn't matter how um how long that the, the the time is that you don't speak to that person they are always there and you always feel their energy around you and i feel like um the issue here is that you don't want to fall back in old emotions. Uh, you don't fall, want to fall back in old feelings of um, maybe a reconciliation, right? Like maybe there is no reconciliation yet on the picture, but you fear that if you think 
a little bit longer about this person, you're going to make like a weird jump and you might be messaging them and you feel like, okay, I shouldn't do that. I should be cool, calm and collected. I should be thinking from a rational point of view and not from an emotional point of view, but your heart keeps on pulling you back. It's like you can't, you can't stop loving them. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm getting through. You're like, you can't stop loving them. And it's like, it's a head over heart decision. Um, but I think that your head is causing for a lot of interference here because the king of swords is in your blockage, which could be that, you know, sometimes we, um, we say some horrible things or we fill ourselves up about our partner or about the one we love because we don't want to love them because obviously loving someone could be very painful or you may feel like you're going to be disappointing um, yourself. So there is some energy here where you, where I feel like you are uh, trying to convince yourself that you don't miss them or that you don't love them. But I don't think that that's going to win at the end. Like, that's what I feel. I feel like this, this connection is too strong. And even if, if there has been a if there has been an ending here in the past, there is going to be a new beginning here because this is a very strong bond, a very strong connect connection. And the lesson here is to overcome um, anxiety and fear and keeping yourself mentally stuck overthinking a situation and stopping this silent pattern. There's like a, an energy here saying like, stop the silent treatment, stop the silent pattern. You have the power to overcome these issues. Let's see what is going on with them. And it looks like both of you are most likely from your end. You're going to be very open for having a good one-on-one. -on -one, all right. Like where you talk and you, you receive also like... The, the other side of the person's opinion and you're having like a very mature conversation here i mean obviously the page of wands is not the most mature energy but when it comes to the six of pentacles and the three of wands right next to it it's like you're going to feel that there is going to be a safe spot or a safe time in the near future where you're going to be able to really talk about your feelings and what you need of the other person in order to make things work. And that's when things start to change around, when you are capable or able to tell the other person, well, okay, I can give you this and uh, all I ask in return is for you to give me this in return uh, without doing that in a fight, but just in a very decent and calm and nurturing way. And that is a um, that is a lesson that you both are learning right now. I mean, like, obviously I haven't seen their part of the story, but it just feels like this is the lesson that you are learning to be more calm, to be more serene, to be more, um, talkative about what you need and what you expect in return. These are all about expectations, talking about expectations, talking about plans towards the future, talking about, what you both can do in order to change each other's expectations in life or in, in expectations in a relationship. <clears throat> and at the same time, keep the conversation or the connection also motivated, right? That's very tough, right? Like when you need to say to the other person, like, hey, I need this and that from you. Uh, it's the way that it's being set right so it's like keeping the conversation light as well as inspiring for for the changes you know what i mean like you gotta keep it like that i know i don't know if that makes sense right now but i feel like i am but i'm not sure <laughs> i don't i'm not sure <laughs> oh this is so funny it is not what it is What's going on with your person, Aquarius? 
well, six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There you go. What was here at the bottom of the deck? Eight of wands. So fast speed forward. All right. Things are definitely changing for the better. There is open communication. Ace of cups. The reader. Hmm. And the eight of wands. Okay. This person is, is watching you as well. Uh, it's like what... When two people are not really sure if the other person truly loves them or not, they start to behave a little bit strange and awkward. That's the type of energy that I'm getting. Uh, but this is someone that fell in love with you the moment that they saw you, but they also felt the need to uh, watch out for you, right? Like really, this could be someone that is, um, how do I say it? Like... reading every message or or yeah kind of like reading through every message that you say like reading between the lines trying to make things out of things and trying to understand on a deeper level what you meant by that and what you meant by this and uh and i think that at, in the long run that made you get to a point of the seven of swords where you either don't want to say what you want to say because this person is taking it under a loop, like they are having like their sunglasses on, they're checking everything that you say and maybe you, sometimes you feel like this person could use it against you. So you're starting to have like this approach of like, well, I don't want to tell you exactly how I feel. Um, and that is a tactic of yours because you don't want to make things more explosive, right? And then we have the strength card, the death card, which is the same cards back to back here with your intentions. And the Knight of Pentacles. In their blockage, we have the Two of Swords and Six of Cups and the Chariot. Okay, now it's getting a little bit more clear that there might have been some issue from the past that this person strictly don't want to talk about. Or it could be a specific person, it could be an ex. They feel like what's in the past should be stay in the past and we shouldn't bring it up constantly over and over again because that gives the idea that... No, no not an idea. But I no, what I'm trying to say is that maybe someone here in the situation feels like they are choosing between two people. The one from the past and the one that is going on right now. And the more that there is some talk about the past, the more that this person fears that you think that they are still attached to the past, but it's not like that. I don't feel like there is an attachment to the past. The past is really done. Like if this is an ex or if this is, I don't know, someone that used to date multiple people, it doesn't matter what it is. It does feel like it's a, it's a relationship. Um, and they feel like this has already been ended and there is no way for it to open it up again. And that's why they keep themselves shut. So if you would ask them questions, they would not even answer on it. They would avoid, reject, um, not go into the deep analyze because they don't want to talk about it, right? They feel like they are moving forward but cautious with you because they're not sure if the past situation is going to keep on resurfacing and if you're going to ever accept their past. Now, there could be something huge that has happened in their past. It does not have to be a relationship or an ex story. It could be something that this person did in the past and there is a lack of forgiveness, right? Like that could be also the case. In their intentions, two of wands, ooh, the devil and a page of wands. Hmm. Outcome is the King of Wands, the Lovers, and the Knight of Wands. Well, and the Two of Cups. Yeah. I guess that... 
two of wands, the devil and the page of wands. This person is absolutely going to make it very clear that they're only interested in you. I see them almost choosing, choosing to love bomb you, choosing to send you and say to you all the things that you want to hear. Uh, and that might be a little bit too good to be true, you know? Uh, and it, I don't think it's a good thing for them to actively choose to say all the right things to you because that means that there is some type of controlling issue here, right? Uh, it's like they feel the need that they need to say you all the right words for you to calm down or to get some type of um, validation, right? And that's why the devil card is there saying that they can be very manipulative with their words. Can you trust it? Uh, and should you get your relationship partner to a point where they have to excessively make things bigger and better, even though it's not really there, just to keep the other person non... Yeah, uh, how do I say that? Like, not whining about something. You know what I mean? So be mindful of that, that you don't force someone to do or say things or to show you in like a very excessive way that they're choosing you or that you know um that you demand of them like well you need to kiss me in front of your friends for me to know that's not a good thing so i don't know what this is but the idea that this person feels like okay in order to make this bond stronger my intention is to choose to love bomb you or to show you in some type of validation um, that I choose you could be something to really reconsider. Now, I don't know what you need to do with that. That's up to you. But that's the type of energy that I'm getting. I mean, like, obviously, I think at the end of the day, there's not much to really fear because you know, the King of Wands, the Lover's card, and the Knight of Wands is saying that even if you reject this approach, they will keep, sorry, keep on showing you that they care for you, that they love you, that they want to be free, there for you. This person wants to stay with you. They choose you. That's that's all that, that I'm seeing. They are feeling highly attracted to you, highly passionate, Two of Cups, Knight of Wands, the Lover's Card, King of Wands. I mean, like, this is someone that is absolutely going to take the full lead um, and taking all the responsibility that is required to show you that they choose you in this connection. <laughs> yep. What is the situation here? The runner and the camera. So it looks like maybe you have been running away, right? You are the, the one that's been running away of trying to think back, uh, reminisce to the past or here with the Six of Cups. I remember I said something like that. Mm, some of you may have a fear of intimacy. This could be emotional intimacy. It does not have to be sexual, but it could be emotional intimacy, right? Um, I mean, if this person is kind of like opening up their heart space and telling you also all of these right things, you may be fearful like, well, if, is, is that even true, right? Mm. Well, yeah, that's what I have here. Guilt and sabotage, chemistry and passion, and remember and awakening. So I don't know which storylines goes for you, <laughs> Aquarius, because I said a lot of things here. But what I feel at the end here is that um, if this was the person that kind of like took a step back from you as well, I do see them having some guilt in regards to this and trying to make things up with you all right that's what i'm getting here 
I don't know why we have that um, energy here. I want to check six of pentacles. Yeah, I keep on getting some weird vibes about that. Seven of swords, nine of wands. Don't try, don't, don't force this person to give you more than they can give because you want it to come from the heart. You, it, it should come from the heart. Making big, like making big changes or commitments in life, especially in love, it should come from the heart. And if you feel ever that you need to force someone uh, to do the right thing and it's not coming from their heart space, it probably is not that good, right? Like you need to question the person's motives at that point rather than why they don't do what they're supposed to do and how they are not thinking that that is the right thing to do. You know what I mean? You don't want someone to say all the right things when they don't understand why they have to say it. I don't know for who this is, but I am very certain that what I'm seeing and hearing the intentions it could be something completely different. Maybe I'm not tying it up to the whole reading and don't care really because at the end of the day, there is something here that's telling me that someone is being forced to give by manipulation and they are not really trusting it, okay? Because the seven of swords is there in the reverse, clarifying that devil. So they feel like they can get away and that the other person will give them more time and space um, if they just say what, what you want to say, what, uh, what you want them to say. So be mindful of that. So again, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue with the extended and I'll probably find out what this is talking about. Follow me there and I'll catch you soon. Ciao.